On today's video, I'm going to show you how you can recreate this cool award-winning text and blending animation all in Webflow. So let's get started. Hi friends, this is Kavarza again with another Webflow tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how you can recreate this really cool animation. But first, we want to understand what is happening, the layers and what we have. So first, I'm going to show everything in Figma really shortly and then we jump into Webflow and create the whole thing. So here inside of Figma, we have this really simple setup with this um, circle and the box all in gray and the text on top of them. And in order to create the effect, I'm going to bring the circle on top of the text and change the blending mode of the circle to be difference. Now it's showing the difference between it, um, the color itself and the background. Next thing we want to show that other text. So as you see, I already have that here and you might be thinking, so why is this one hidden and how is the blending mode of working on this? Because it's working on this color and this working it, it's working on this too well it's actually not working it's not the blending mode that shows this it's simply just a text in the same color as the background but uh, being on a higher layer so it's on top of the circle so there is no blending mode actually happening here that means here we have only two simple tricks uh, we need to make sure that they are working one that is this part of the text is on top of the circle and the other one is just to simply get the blending mode uh, working. All right, now let's jump into Webflow. So here inside of Webflow, I'm going to add a div block and this div block is going to be a long section that we need for the animation. So since the animation is based on scroll, we need some space to scroll um, in and that in that duration, the animation will happen. So this is going to be a long section we are going to call it long section and the long section is going to have 100% with something like 400 VH so 400 viewport height just basically a long section to scroll and then position relative position relative because the div block inside of it is going to be sticky so we can call this one something like sticky con container and this sticky container is going to be obviously sticky here. And as we scroll, this is going to stick uh, on the screen and the animation and everything will happen within it. So it's going to be 100% width and then 100 viewport height. So it takes the entire screen and then position sticky. Now you see it's not sticky, it's moving as I scroll because we need to also decide and um, say from where, from which point we want it to stick. So zero pixels. So it's right now sticky, it's hard to see, but uh, you see basically the div block, it's staying and uh, we can still scroll. So now inside of this uh, sticky container, we can start adding uh, our text. So let's simply add a text block. So a text block and we are going to call it something like huge text. First, let me uh, just paste the text here. We don't just build website text. And this one, uh, we're going to change its size. Uh, I'm going to use a viewport width because we want to scale it uh, based on the window size. So it can be something like eight view W. So it's a huge text. Let's add 1.2 unitless height. And we want this to be in the center. So I'm going to take the sticky container uh, div block position, uh, change the display setting to flex and then center, center it. So this one, we want to break it. And now let's just simply break the text. So I'm just hitting return. And now we want to do this uh, really trendy effect here. So for that, we need to wrap this part of the text in a span. And if we don't do this trendy effect, our Webflow account will probably get deleted. So let's call this something like margin text. And this is just going to be some negative margin. We can also do viewport width. So something like seven viewport width, uh, that looks just fine. And next we want to 
hide the don't we don't hide it we change its color but let's uh, change the color properly so on the background uh, on the body i'm going to set the body all pages text color to be maybe black and then we want to change this sticky container um, the color the background color to be this very gray so something like this or this very like light gray so we can also save it as a color swatch and now take the don't add another span and call this don't and this don't is going to also be the same color as background not the background color but actually the text color it's going to be the same as the background so we don't see it now inside of this sticky container i'm going to add another div block and this div block is going to be our circle so we call it circle we are going to change uh, to set its size to be something like 35 35 maybe uh, viewport width for the width and for the height we are doing 35 viewport width again because we want it to be a, a square and then a circle so right now we want to change the background color of this to be the same as the background color of its parent and then here in the blending mode just like figma we are going to change it to be difference now it's basically showing the difference uh, that it has with the background and if we just basically just simply move it here you see uh, the effect is already working so now next thing we want to do we want to also change its border radius to be 100 percent so it's a circle and we want also to have this don't on top of it so i'm going to take the circle and add and just move it a little bit so we have it here um so we can actually get the don't so we see the effect and we want to change the position of this text from static to be relative only this piece and then change the z index to something higher so it's one now it's on top of it so if we take the circle and move it in and out you see it's basically revealing uh, this don't all right now let's remove that and this circle we also want this to be position absolute so it's staying in the middle and the reason it's also basically dead center is because we have the sticky container as um, display flex and then center center and it's also affecting this as long as we are not changing the auto positioning here on absolute so this is a tip on how to make anything uh, dead center all right so now we have the effect working let's get into animating it so for the animation as uh, as i said we have this long section that we can scroll and we want to animate this long section we're going to animations and element trigger and here we want a while scrolling in view so as this is scrolling we are going to have an on scroll animation a custom one and add a new one and we are going to call it sticky and blending all right so the scroll animation is going to be a move so we want to basically move the circle in and out so i'm going to choose the circle and then for the animation here we are going to add a move so the circle on the y-axis first we can use uh, percentage and for here percentage as well so what do we want to do first we want to have it like um, beneath the screen so for that we are going to move it 100% is not enough so we are going to move it something like 180 or like 170 was enough and then at 100% it basically moved to its original position but let's see if this is correct so right now as we scroll like just even before scrolling you see we are at 20% why because the animation is happening 
from the moment that this uh, long section is in view. So it's already at 20% and then you see it's very slow and it kind of like really late uh, finishes. So in order to fix that or like adjust it, we need to um, define these animation boundaries. We can do this in the first step, but it's always easier to do the animation and see uh, where your needs are. And this animation, I find it really, really smart. It's really easy to look at it and based on this, uh, create the boundaries we want. So right now, the animation starts at 0%, but we want it to be to, to start when it when the section is fully visible. So you see the 0% is at the bottom because it's when the whole section is visible. So when it's fully visible and that's all we need. So we don't need to add any offset, but that's also a possibility. So sticky and blend, blending animation right now. So let's see the preview. You see at the beginning, we are now at 0%. At the beginning, we are at 0% and then uh, it finishes early. Now we need to adjust for that. And the way we do that is we basically move this to something like here. So let's say at 20%, we want the first phase of the animation to finish. So this far we scroll and then the first phase is finished. The second phase is the circle growing. So from here, from 20%, we can on the circle, we can add a new one. It can be a scale, uh, but I'm going to add size since we know the circle was 35 viewport width and then 35 viewport width for the uh, height and width. And now I'm going to duplicate this, bring it to 100%. And here we want to grow it a lot. So 100 is not enough. So let's go something like 150, 150. Right now I'm holding shift and then with the arrow keys, um, I'm increasing the numbers. And now, and now let's preview it and see if we have to do anything else or if it's working. So the first stage is working and then from 20% it starts growing, but see what happens at 75% just as before the animation doesn't finish because of the boundaries. We could play around with the boundaries or we can have like all the sections below, then we can basically scroll past uh, this number and then it will finish uh, But then um, that adds more complexity for the video. So I'm just going to bring it to 75%. So the animation basically finishes here. So right now we have it all there. Uh, you see we have some um, horizontal scrolling and in order to accommodate for that, we are going to take the sticky container. We can here say something like 100 instead of 100%, we can say 100 viewport width and then the max of 100% and then overflow hidden. So now let's play the animation. So the first stage uh, works just fine and then the animation basically grows and we don't have that unwanted uh, horizontal scrolling. All right, so this covers the basis of this animation. As you see in the original build, we also have some uh, slight animations on the text on the website. So we, for those, we need to have the Wii and the website also in spans, and then it's pretty easy to have them in the same uh, scrolling animation. So here we can add those as separate items and then move them to right and left. Um, another thing I can do here, the smoothing, uh, I wouldn't leave it at 50. Uh, my favorite is like something between 92 and 97. Uh, I really like the smoothing above 90, but below 97, uh, if we play it once again, you see it changes, it adds a bit smoothing, it's super nice. And in the original build, you also see that we have uh, some other uh, basically div blocks or some other elements inside of the circle growing out. And those can be elements inside of the sticky container on top of the circle and scaled down to zero. And as we animate in the, let's say in the third stage of the animation, we can have them, you know, scaled up from zero to let's say a one, and then we will see them and then we can uh, finish up the animation there. So it's all 
based on the same animation. It's just more elements and more uh, items to add. All right, so this is it for this video. I hope you learned something new. Please share the video with your friends if you did. The link to this build will be in the description below. And uh, please let me know in the comments what type of Webflow content you want me to make. I will be there reading your comments and answering them. Till the next video, thank you for watching and peace.